hello friends and welcome back to another video we are currently in my car going to do a little bit of shopping but if you're new here welcome i have a few new subscribers so welcome my name is chelsea and i hope you enjoy watching my videos today we are going to do a few shopping trips to Target and Hobby Lobby. I have to go to two different Targets because everything I want is just sprawled out at different Targets. Um, I started my Christmas decor. My Christmas tree is up. It is 57 degrees here in California, which to this fellow New Jersey gal, I'm cold. It is cold out. <laughs> and I'm in like an Aritzia sweatsuit, which I have a haul coming soon of all Aritzia sweatsuits because I ordered a ton and they come, I think, they're like all back ordered, so they come, I'm pretty sure like end of November, starting of December. And yeah, so I have my Christmas tree up. I started my Christmas decor, but I have a few things that I would like to finish up. My console table that I have in my hallway that I did show you guys in my apartment tour. I just don't like how it's looking, and I'm the type of person that my home is my sanctuary and my spot that I'm at the most so I want my home to look the cutest ever and just be obsessed with it at all times I don't leave my house much if you're friends with me you know I just don't like leaving my house very much me and Ahmad are both really big homebodies we are old people as well I'm convinced because we are literally in bed by 9 p.m um maybe this is just adulting I don't know but I'm going to do that I have a few updates to tell you guys about um, I think we're taking Christmas photos in front of our tree. I was going to pay someone to do it, but honestly, I just want a photo in front of my Christmas tree with Cozy, me, and a mod. I got us all matching PJs because Target has the cutest, like, family matching PJs for, like, dogs and <laughs> kids and all that. So we got that, and we're going to do that. I think today Amy is going to take the photos for us. Hopefully she pulls through with taking the photos for us um i did not vlog last week um so the last video saw, you saw was my what i eat in a week for dinner type of thing sorry if this is annoying you um i'll try to tuck it in that was the last video you saw and i just did not vlog last weekend i was in a really big funk and really really exhausted i was go 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 for like two weeks straight and on weekends just did not relax at all and it finally like hit me and took a toll on me and i just wanted to rest and then i ended up not really resting because i was just in a mood all freaking weekend you know when you're just not in a good mood and uh, i don't know i was just in a horrible mood and being really hard on myself and I talked to you guys about like the diet changes that I'm trying to do with gluten and dairy. Dairy is way easier than gluten. I can do dairy all the way. I can cut that off easily. Um, but gluten is really hard, especially when you like live with someone and you're cooking for both of you guys and they don't want to do that stuff. It's really hard. So that's been a bit of a challenge, but I've been focusing on my like exercising and really like taking my time during my workouts because I really do rush sometimes and I want to perfect my form in all ways and I just want to be the strongest I can be you know and I've been seeing some improvements with my workouts which is nice and when you like start to go up in your weights and stuff you just feel so freaking good and that's been happening lately which I'm so happy but yeah um some updates for you guys uh, I booked a hair appointment and that's happening Black Friday and you're wondering why would you get your hair done Black Friday and not shop. I really don't think I'm shopping Black Friday. The things I want really are just jeans. My jeans don't fit my butt anymore or my legs and I need new jeans and I like Abercrombie jeans and they don't really go on sale so I think I'm just gonna like take the plunge and like buy them full price like whatever. But um that's like the only thing I want. I buy clothes. Like I showed you guys a clothing haul. Was it like three videos ago? And have I worn anything yet? No. Like no. 
when I, I like had a major shopping spree with my mom when she visited me for the first time in the summer and we bought so much clothes and everything has tags on it still and that was July or was it June it was June or July and everything has tags on it still I just don't go out and I always say I'm going to like go out and like do things and take photos but I just I'm not really a fan of putting on makeup I really just like how I look without it and I'm just lazy like I want to relax on weekends I don't want to go out so the only time we go out is for date nights and that's like once every two weeks maybe I don't know we haven't been really doing date nights too much we just have been into doing like at home date nights so yeah I don't ever wear clothes so there's just no point in me buying clothes anymore I also need to grocery shop I have been avoiding that since yesterday and I just need to do it I'm super happy that it is slightly cold in California right now really excited um, I am not going home for the holidays Thanksgiving me and Ahmad are doing at our house just me and him which will be quite interesting because I've never cooked a turkey in my whole entire freaking life and my mom usually always does that so this will be interesting but Ahmad is a really good cook as well, so I trust him. Um, and for Christmas and Christmas Eve, I decided to stay home. Ahmad is going for a full week home, but he also only sees his family every Christmas. Just being in the military, it's much harder to go home. And I just decided to not go home because what's the point of going home just for two days? I do still have work the following week as of now. And there's just no point in going home for two days. I can't see my whole family in two days. I have such a huge family and we just all do our own thing. Like certain parts of the family all do their own thing on the holidays. And I just would not be able to see everyone for, in like the two day span. And then I have to see Ahmad's family and it just is like really hard. And pay someone to watch Cozy and just a lot of work. And my family, my brothers and my sister-in-laws, I don't know if both are coming, but and my mom is coming the 26th, so the day after Christmas, for a week to spend New Year's Eve with me because I'm not gonna be here. And there's just no point in going home. Just keep it short, there's no point in going home. So I decided to go home in January. Um, this like second or third week of January, I decided to go home for like five days. That way Ahmad's here, he can watch Cozy. I don't have to worry about putting someone in the hands, like in my, do my dogs, I don't even know how to say it. Putting someone like in the hands of taking care of my dog, it's really hard to trust someone with Cozy. I am really overprotective of her and she's just my baby. And I don't know how else to explain that. So yeah, not going home for the holidays. So be ready for Christmas vlog by my lonely. Amy is staying home as well for the holidays, but she has her brother and his girlfriend coming. So I was like, can I make dinner for you guys? Cause I love cooking and I have always dreamed of hosting Christmas. And obviously that dream won't really happen until we move back home to Jersey and when we have a house and I can host every holiday. I'm just pumped for that. But I like asked Amy like, can I host Christmas at my house? I'll make food, everything. So I think we're gonna do that. As of now, cause I think Ahmad's still deciding he will go home for Christmas. If not, he'll just go like the day after Christmas. But yeah, I'm almost at Target. This is a really long intro. I really talk a lot and I don't think people mind because I mean, when I watch vlogs, I watch 50 minute vlogs of just someone talking and I really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm just going to head into Target and I will take you guys along with me. All right friends, it's much later. I went to two different Targets and Hobby Lobby and it's like three o'clock. I have to grocery shop still, but I just posted all of my decor on Instagram and Facebook for my family. And before I show you guys, so excited, um, I just wanted to talk about my sweatsuit. Aritzia has the best sweatsuits ever. They are so pricey, but it's worth the investment because I always felt like I would buy cheap ass sweatpants that are like $20, 10 bucks, never lasted, whereas these are expensive, but they will last me so long. So this is just the TNA boyfriend, and I think these are the perfect um, sweats. I know they have the boyfriend ones, and I've had these since last year, but I just ordered three new sweatsuits, I think. And they only come, I told you guys, like end of November, beginning of December. So I'll show you guys that. But yeah, let's start the Christmas. Can't show you yet. Hold on. We got to go to the front door. <laughs> and then I need to fucking food shop because the mod's going to kill me. Okay. Ready? 
we'll start off outside. So this is outside and I am going to link everything on my like to know it, but I'll tell you guys as well, but I'm gonna start linking everything on like to know it and I'll link that on the bottom of my description. So this is the entrance, that's from Target, Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, Target. Then we walk in and it's like a Christmas miracle. Listen, people, I spend too much money on my Christmas decor to have that shit up for a month. We do three months in this house. We'll take it down in February. So we walk in. Okay, this was not planned. This is Cozy's blanket from when she was a little puppy. And we first got her and she's attached to it. When I wash it, she cries at the laundry door. She does not like when I wash it. And I just gave her that cute little pillow because I felt she'd be comfy. And the funniest thing, and I will insert the photo here if I can find it, but Ahmad made her bed one morning and literally folded it like a human bed. It was the funniest thing ever. But that's not planned. Sorry if I'm out of breath. I'm really fucking tired right now. <laughs> but that wasn't planned. So, oh, and if you didn't want to know, her blankie's from Target, and that's from Target too. I got this little advent calendar, which obviously is not going to be put into use because it's November. But this is from Target. I think it's so freaking cute. And here's a little overview. And look at my little baby. So, here's an overview. And I promise I will link everything if I can find it. I know some things are hard to like find now because everything's selling out. But this is from Target. It's the Magnolia wreath. And I will link, I promise. I just got this today. And I had a white one, but it doesn't stay white. I think I told you guys about this because Ahmad literally steps on it all the time. So I thought this was really freaking cute. This is from Hobby Lobby. I am getting a KitchenAid mixer for Christmas and I'm gonna get rid of this stupid wine fridge that no one uses. Not stupid, I love it. <laughs> Sorry, my Aunt Teresa bought me this. Sorry, Titi, I love it, but we don't use it. So I figured put it in storage until we get a house and move back home and have more space because I want my KitchenAid mixer psh, right there. Why is this out of focus? But here is, this is from Ray Dunn, and I have, if I can open this thing, Christmas Oreos in here, guys. Christmas Oreos, people. This focuses. Yum. I will be munching on that for sure. I also want to show you guys my Ray Dunn, like, Christmas mug collection. It is pretty, it's getting pretty intense. There's, like, way more up there. But yeah, moving on. That little Christmas tree is from Magnolia. That's Ray Dunn. I think I said that. Oh, I got this cute ass little candle holder from Bath and Body Works. All right. Nico! Hi, baby. Why are you out of focus, you stupid thing? Come on. I dropped my camera today, and I swear it's why it's getting out of focus. But here is our Christmas tree, and I will link it down below. Because um, Like to Know It doesn't let you link things from Hobby Lobby for some reason. They're like not an affiliate with Like to Know It. So I'll link this down below. It's the like YY tree. If you go to Hobby Lobby and say the YY tree, they'll know. But it, we went with a skinny little pencil tree. And I added, I think it's so freaking beautiful. I have to finish rib, like doing the ribbon. But I added ribbon, these pretty snow things. These are so beautiful. I added little icicles. There's clear ones that are like iridescent as you can see. We got this. Ray Dunn one from Josie, my sister-in-law, future sister-in-law. Got these pine cones from Target. The snow, these little, what are they called? Ornaments are from, they came in a kit with these from Hobby Lobby. These flowers are from Hobby Lobby as well. The ribbons from Hobby Lobby. Then the icicles and the pine cones are from Target and I will link them if I can find it. They were really cheap, like $5 for a big pack. But yeah, I added ribboning. I didn't finish the back of the tree with the ribboning yet, but I thought these flowers were so freaking Beautiful. I think I'm gonna get more because I feel like I don't have enough. I only got four So I might go grab like four more maybe we'll see because I feel like it's pretty empty on this side But yeah, and then our little thing I was gonna get a light up angel, but I figured that was fine Come over here. Oh, and here's like an overview of it all. I am so Obsessed with how it turned out. I was really excited for fall decor as you can tell on my Instagram I posted it and I just got over it. Why are you licking your paws so much, baby? I just got over it so quick. I just love the Christmas vibes of like the neutrals. I'm a neutral kind of gal. I'm not into the oranges. I want green and white and silver and gold. <laughs> so yeah, this is Cozy's um, little stocking. And I just put it there and then I got, that's from Target. 
And I got this beautiful garland. It's the Studio McGee Target one. And like I said, I'm going to link everything. Most of it's from Target, though. Stocking little holder things are Target. Stockings are Target. 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 Hobby Lobby. Target. Target. Everything's Target. But I love how this turned out. I was going to go really, like, kabam with it. But I just kept it really simple. And I think it's so beautiful. And fun fact, I really want to start collecting snow globes, like, every year with the different years on it. But I thought this one was so beautiful. And it actually, like make sound too but it creeps me out it reminds me of like some annabelle movie shit because ever since i turned it on the first time my mom was like imagine you hear that at night and i was like i'm done i'm never putting i'm never fucking putting it on again <laughs> this is my favorite blanket i've gotten for christmas from target so far it's this big thick knit one it is really expensive i'm talking 60 bucks it was pricey but it's so freaking cute and it's literally like a weighted blanket it's so thick and comfy and I just put it here. And the reason I put a blanket here is because it not only does it look cute, but cozy. It's just a little spot. That's why this pillow is all kind of out of shape, unlike the other ones. I am really out of breath. <laughs> but she sits right there. And if she's dirty, like, I just prefer putting a blanket there. That is from Target. Here's another little overview of the pillows. All of the pillows are from Target, except that one's a pillow cover from Amazon. Blankets are all Target, except that one is Barefoot Dreams. Highly recommend. Then for here, I just put these little bells. And here from Target, it came in like a box. I was going to get a little um, like Christmas plant here, but I'm just keeping it really simple. Simple as I have my whole house decorated. <laughs> but here's an overview of the kitchen too. Oh, I wanted to talk about these. Got these from Target in a pack of four. I thought they were so cute. Um, we'll move on this way. So the console table is really my like prime like decorating area for the seasons. I don't mind the patches. Me and Amy, Amy got mad at me when I said I did it because Amy put up all of them and I took them all down because I didn't like them, so I had to patch the holes. Sorry, Amy. Amy, I give you full credit. You put up the pictures and I didn't like them, so I took them down. But what I did over here was I had this filled with pumpkins and it says like pumpkin basket, but I just, I feel like I'm breathing really hard and I'm so sorry. I'm really out of breath right now and I don't know why, but I just filled it with like a blanket and these little fillers, they're like bowl fillers or whatever from Target and then this this is from Hobby Lobby and then over here oh, I'm so obsessed with how it freaking turned out I'm so happy these are just little like vase things but I just hid the stems kind of and made them kind of into a garland Target Target this little arrangement is from Hobby Lobby this is from Hobby Lobby I thought it was so beautiful Hobby Lobby Target how stinking freaking cute all these houses are Target those two things are Target. And the hard part was this year I had to buy everything because I had nothing. And so I spent a shit ton of money. And next year I don't have to buy anything. But knowing me, I will. So bathrooms, I keep it pretty simple. I just kind of do the shelves and stuff. So I got this little sign from Magnolia at Target, Merry and Bright. I thought it just looked really cute. And then this is the tinier version of that deer I had at the console table. This is from Hobby Lobby. And I just kept it simple. I think it looks cute. I might buy little trees to add there. But I think if I come home with any more freaking bags, the mod's going to kill me. I don't decorate the guest room, as you guys know, because I don't care about it. Um, What's next? Oh, here. So over here, I love how our bedroom came out, too. These trees are so cute. I got them both from Target. Duh. I will link them. Don't worry. Blanket from Target. I just got this today. It's so soft and nice. I have a blanket obsession. Does anyone else have a throw blanket obsession where you literally have to have a million throw blankets and you never get tired of it because same. So this garland was supposed to go on the console table and it was really cheap, 10 bucks, but I know why it was 10 bucks because it literally, all the flocking fell on the floor and it's just cheaply made. But I just put it up there. I thought it looked cute. Um, I'm so out of breath. <sighs> So the reason we have pillows on the floor is because I have so many throw pillows, pillows, pillars, and I just don't have the storage for them. So I just put them on the floor, throw them in the guest room, and Ahmad's theory is that if he doesn't let me put things in his closet, because obviously I'm a girl, I have more stuff than him, and he has this whole dresser filled with clothes, and I just have everything in my closet. His theory is that if he doesn't let me put decor in his closet, because his closet is empty, it's just like his work stuff and his sneakers, that I won't buy any decor and <laughs> he's not very smart because I'm gonna still buy decor I will find a place for it so I just end up putting the pillows on the floor 
But over here, what I did was kept it pretty simple for fall. I went a little too out and I hated it. So I just got this sign from Hobby Lobby. It says it's the most wonderful time of the year. Marshmallow Fireside. Excellent candle. I have flocking from that garland everywhere. These two are from Hobby Lobby. This is from Target Dollar Section, actually. These mini trees are from Target Dollar Section. And this is from Target. So that, that came out super freaking cute. And yeah, I'm obsessed. Ugh! I love Christmas. I freaking love Christmas. So bathroom, once again, kept it simple. Just a tree. Um, this little sign. And a little tree. I just kept it simple in here. And I'll change out my soaps and everything because I am a seasonal. Seasonal. Did I just say seasonal? I'm a seasonal soap kind of gal. I don't have like marshmallow fireside soap in December. Like, no, there's going to be twisted peppermint. <laughs> so, yeah, that is all of my Christmas decor, guys. I'm so happy with how it came out. Like, super happy. I love Christmas. And like I was telling you guys, I really invest in my home looking so good because I spend 90% of my time here, 99% of the time, the only time I'm not here is when I'm at work. And oh, I just love how it came out. I fucking love it. I love it. So I really invest in making my home look the best that it can and spent a majority of my money this year living in California on home decor, but it's okay because next year I will not have to do that. Why isn't Amy freaking answering me? <laughs> I'm like, hello. I needed her opinion on something. She's not answering. Um, yeah, I spent a big, big chunk. I'm so glad that like our banks don't give us like what you spent in a year, like statement at the end of the year because <sighs> woo, <laughs> that would not be good. But I spent majority of my majority of my money on. My home this year but thankfully next year i have all my christmas decor i'm sure i'll like tweak some things but i won't have to spend 600 dollars on every fucking season ever again in my life cheers to that oh got this twisted my hair is everywhere i'm so sorry <laughs> got this twisted peppermint um white mocha thing so good okay it is 2.59 and I think I should go grocery shopping. My, nothing warms my heart more. I'm gonna get a little emotional. When my daddy comments on my Facebook pictures, it makes me wanna cry right now. I cannot wait to see my family, can't wait. But I'm gonna log off because I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I miss my family so much, so much. But anyways, I am so happy with how my Christmas decor came out. Woo, you know when you get that ball in your throat when you're about to cry? Really miss my fucking family. Bad. But anyways, um, I'm gonna end this off here. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'll show you guys a grocery haul. I don't know if you guys are too interested in that, but I'll show you guys. And I'm just really excited for Christmas. Like, during this time of the year, it's always, like, really hard because, you know, the holidays, when you don't have, like, certain people in your family that passed away, it's so hard. I should probably sit because I'm out of breath and I'm talking so much. But, um, ever since my grandmother passed away and just people in my family have passed away, the holidays have always been a little bit hard because you always miss those people that are gone, which sucks so much. Why am I getting so into my feelings right now? <laughs> but I just really love the holidays and I am so happy, like... My heart is fluttering with joy right now looking at my living room. Like, I wish I can have my Christmas tree up all year because it makes me so happy. Like, my home feels so, like, New Jersey right now. Like, it feels like I'm home, but I'm not home. That's another thing that's hard is, like, being away from home. Like, I'm so grateful that I get to live in California. I'm so out of breath. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Is that a sign of any, anything, being out of breath? Woo! <laughs> Not pregnancy, because we're on birth control over here, people. I feel like I'm almost missing out on so many things being away from my family. Like, I haven't seen my grandma in a year. Almost a year I haven't seen my family. Like, when I go home in January, fuck. Which, I'm not going to say dates. I think I did already. So, I'm going to beep that out if I did, because I'm trying to surprise my family. I'm not going to tell them what dates I'm coming. So, if I said that to you guys, I'm going to beep it out, because I think some of my family watches my vlogs. So need to be careful but i am just so excited to go home and visit my family in january it will, it'll be literally like a week before a year 
hits because I think I left the 21st. So, yeah. So grateful to be living here and it's great and all, but this gal is a New Jersey gal and I just like cold seasons and being an hour near my family like is great and don't take advantage of it because it's great but it's okay we have two years left in the military and get the hell out of here I'm back to jersey and yeah i'm like i stress over the moving process and it's not even near being there yet not fun moving is not fun but anyways guys i can just talk for hours and hours and hours and hours so i'm gonna shut up and probably go food shopping because i really need to do that and has anyone else been watching um emily in paris is that what it's called yeah right emily in paris it is so good so good i freaking love it it makes me want to go to paris and like <laughs> with the mod and just go all over the freaking whole paris i also wanted to show you guys this spray i got because i think i talked about it in the last vlog how i'm obsessed with the freaking myers sprays but they have the christmas one people and it's iowa pine and it smells so freaking good that's another thing i need to go to another target god lord me and targets like i think the workers know me by now i go so much amada is so used to me calling him from my car like can you come help me with bags? <laughs> I go to Target and I like come back. I'm like, can you help me with bags? And there's like six bags. And he's like, you need to stop shopping. I'm like, no. But anyways, that is all for right now, I think. So I'm really going to shut up now. <laughs> Even though I love talking to you guys. Like, I love it. I feel like you guys are my friends. And yeah, I... Gained a few subscribers and it made me really happy. I think like 12 or 13 I gained. Or was it like 20? I don't know. I just remember when I posted my what I eat in a week. I like automatically gained like. I think it was like 20 subscribers. In like two days. And I was like. So happy. And I know it's only like 220. But I love all 220 of you. And more. Whoever else is joining the gang. But anyways, I'm going to really shut the hell up now and go and probably take a montage of all this Christmas stuff because I do need to take thumbnails, but I promise I will shut up now and I will talk to you guys after my grocery shopping. Bye. And don't be surprised if I go to Target again. <laughs> everyone it is the next day i have a few things to tell you guys about so i had plans of making saturday which was yesterday a separate vlog and then sunday another vlog why is this so loud sorry but we had a bit of an issue so cozy for those who are new cozy is my dog she's literally my daughter um she is the sweetest angel ever she sometimes gets bored of her kibble which is understandable i would get bored of the same thing all the time too so i usually add in white rice but i figured i would get like something to add in like maybe a wet dog food or something um so i went to target and they have like the fresh pet which is refrigerated food and my mom has given that to her before when i live with my mom but I guess just not this flavor. And she had an insane allergic reaction. I want to answer pictures, but I know some people are kind of like sensitive stomach to that kind of stuff. She, at first it started off with just a few welts on her head. I took her to the vet because that was the first time it ever happened. And I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing because it's never happened before. And they just said, give her Benadryl. So I gave her Benadryl. She had a dose after the vet. And then Ahmad woke me up at like 12 a.m. saying that it was horrible and getting worse. And it was bad. So I figured, okay, I'll just take her to the vet in the morning. Because um, the vet just said, you know, to give Benadryl and it'll go away on its own. It just takes a few days. And in the morning, I heard her crying and I went to go see her. Because Ahmad had slept on the couch with her. She doesn't sleep in our bed. 
So Ahmad just slept on the couch with her so that she wasn't alone. Um, and she, her eyes were completely like almost shut. She has welts the size of like, like bigger than a quarter all over her body. And I rushed her to the animal hospital and they are keeping her for five hours, I believe, till like two o'clock. It's only like 9 a.m. right now. Actually, no, it's like 10 a.m. <laughs> so they're gonna keep her until like two o'clock and monitor her because they gave her a steroid and then they're gonna send her home with oral steroids. And the hive shouldn't go down for like five days, which is so horrible. I feel so bad and like, shitty ass dog mom even though i know it was just like a, it was a mistake it happens like i gave her food i didn't know she was allergic to it i never got her like tested for allergies or anything now i want to but it happens and i'm like just being super hard on myself about it i was crying so much when i was taking her to the vet because i felt so freaking bad but she's gonna be okay they're just keeping her there to monitor her breathing um, I would have rather had her stay there for a few hours and monitor her breathing than have her come home and me not monitor something right because I'm not a vet. I don't know what to do. So I just kept her there and yeah, hopefully everything goes well with the steroid shot. I haven't heard back for them, from them. Um, this was about an hour ago I dropped her off and then I had to rush out of the house to get my nails done. I literally scarfed down eggs and ran out of the house, threw my hair in a bun, and I have a sweatshirt and the sweatpants on. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get my nails done. She was so sweet to squeeze me in because I had a later appointment, but I have to pick up Cozy around that time, so she was so sweet to let me come earlier. I love my nail lady. If you're in like the Carlsbad area, Pearl Nails is so good. Mimi is the best. I had to go to someone else the last time I went. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I had to go to someone else the last time I went because she had a yoga class and I can only go at five because that's when I got off of work. And she did not do so well. And they all like broke. I don't even want to show you, but they're like all like chipped. And she actually like, there's like a chip there. And then there's one missing right here because it fell off. I get dip powder by the way. It's way healthier than acrylics. And my nails grow super freaking fast with it. Um, usually my nails, if you look at my like last two vlogs, they're super long usually. Um, but she just accidentally cut them too short. But maybe I don't even have to tell her what to do. She just knows what to do. Sometimes I don't even pick out colors. I just tell her to pick one and she always picks out spot on colors. But yeah, and then I have to return this dog food now. Um, so be very weary. I, we really don't know if it was the food. It could have just been a coincidence that you know, I gave her the food and then the hives popped up right after. But as you guys saw in a clip from yesterday, which will be in this vlog, um, I was saying like, Cozy, why are you licking your paws so much? But it's because of the welts were forming and they really weren't that bad at first. But holy moly, like when I saw her this morning, I bawled because I just felt so freaking bad. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go return that. It's expensive. It was like $15 for a little bag of like, food and I'm probably just gonna start giving her white rice or chicken broth in her food I'm too scared to ever try dog food again I also got also got her new treats so I don't know if I should give her those now because she's had I gave them to her with the food yesterday and she's had that brand before just not the flavor cinnamon but she's had cinnamon before so I really don't know but yeah so just gonna get my nails on and I don't know if I'm gonna film all day today because I'm planning on doing a night routine because, but probably not skincare fully. Guys, I will give you what you want and give you a skincare video soon. I just, as I told you guys before, I'm changing a few things. So I just added a new moisturizer and another cleanser. I have three different cleansers and I will explain why when I post my skincare routine because there's a reason why I have three different cleansers. I'm just extra, but yeah i'll talk to you guys after i'm also on the freaking hunt for i don't know if you guys know what like mini dash waffle makers are at target but they come out with like seasonal ones and i've been obsessed with protein waffles lately because i feel like i'm trying to gain muscle a lot and like be the strongest i can be but sometimes i don't like i'm not the best at eating enough and not eating my protein enough so i want to add more protein into my diet like, way more 
and so I figured protein waffles in the morning is yummy and Amy gave me a recipe and yeah but I want the Finny Dash, Dash waffle maker I can't even talk because they have a little snowflake and it's so freaking cute but that is all um what the heck I will get back to you guys after I get my nails done and hopefully I don't buy anything at Target. Much later, I just got a red color on my nails. If it focuses, that would be great. Come on. A red color. And Cozy is home now, by the way. She is laying down. It is a rainy, gloomy day, so we're literally just hanging out. Ahmad's watching football. Cozy's taking a nap. She's much better. She did not look like this this morning. She's really tired. Her welts were huge on her face. Hi, Coco. Oh, boy, there she goes.